It's Groundhog Day with a force! Hey! What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Earthrise Micromasters Roller Force and Groundhog. So here we are, and there they are. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Right up front, we have some lovely onwork of Roller Force and Groundhog. Of course, we have the map piece back there there's nothing on it so there's no point in busting out the decoder earthrise work for cybertron transformers they are micro moosters on the bottom words things barcodes on the back of the box you have your obligatory product shots things stuff things and stuff and that's basically it for the packaging and moving right along here we have a roller force and groundhog and now one thing to get out of the way right off the bat um apparently the back of the box and the instructions have their names swapped. They, they have the wrong names. So they have this guy is Roller Force and this guy is Groundhog and that is not correct. This guy is Groundhog and this guy is Roller Force. That's the way it works. So yeah, little mistake there on Hasbro's part. Somebody's going to get in trouble. But anyway, here is Groundhog, and here is Roller Force, and they're little race cars, and they're nice little dudes, they're little dudes, little cars, yay! But first, let's take a look at Groundhog. Let's see, flames there on the hood, some nice silver paints for the windshields and windows, going all the way around. Also some silver there for the pipes, black rails, well, there's the back, and there's the top. There's the bottom, you have visible a lot syndrome. He rolls as rolling things should. Hooray, hooray for rolling. And here we have Roller Force. Again, another race car, silver for the windshields and windows. The spoiler is painted. Black tires. There's the back. There's the top. There's the bottom. Visible a lot syndrome. He also rolls as rolling things should. Hooray, hooray for rolling things. And for comparison, here they are with their wave mates, Blastmaster and Fuser. You can see how that works out. So, there you go. So yeah, that is basically it for their vehicle modes. Just little race cars. It'll find a roll around race car. Yay! But let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's get back here, man. So, uh, which one should we do first? Um, as always, We'll do this the uh, scientific way. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay, so we are doing groundhog first. So to transform groundhog, you just take the hood and flip it back. You want to take the arms and just untab them. There's a little tab that goes behind this panel, so you kind of want to bring it down and then bring it out. And just kind of bring it down, bring it out. And then you just unfold. His legs, unfold legs, and there you go. There you have Groundhog in his robot mode. And he's a little guy. He's just a little guy. Let's get him close here. So we can take a look at that head sculpt. You see some silver paint on the visor. The mouth plate is also painted. And a whole lot of yellow going on. Some silver there for the abular region. And of course, the big old, <laughs> the big old screw hole in his chest. There's a big old fight in the back of the car. I mean, the, uh, the hood of the car, just hanging out on his back there. Um, Articulation-wise, the head does not move. Uh, the arms are on ball joints. They can only go this far before stuff gets in the way. And back a little bit outward. You can move all the way out. Um, you do have waist rotation. Legs can go forward that far, back, about that far, outward, not really anything. Knees, yeah, full range of movements due to transformation, and that is pretty much it there for Groundhog. And now we move on to Roller Force. Sorry, dude. I'm sorry. Now we move on to Roller Force and transform him. It's pretty much the same. We just bring that back. We untab the arms from the hips. It's tabbing right in there. And then we take 
this section, and this just comes back like that, and then legs come down, that becomes his heels. That's pretty clever. And just put the legs, and there you go, there you have Roller Force, you stand, there you have Roller Force in his robot mode. And he's just a little guy. But we're getting close here so we can take a look at the face. See yellow there on the face. Some nice coloration there on the body. A little bit of pink in there as well. He's got the spoiler feet. He's got those spoilery feet. And moving up the back again. Just got the hood hanging off the back there. And articulation wise, the head does nothing. The arms. Can do a full 360 outward movement. That's as much as you're going to get. You do have waist rotation as well. Legs can go forward that far back, that far outward. You get a little bit. Um, no real rotation. Knees very, very slight. Knees. Now the knees only go this far because you can see there's little, there's little tab right there. Camera will focus. There we go. Little tab right there just kind of stops it at that point. So if you really want more range of movement, you can always just kind of snip that tab off. But that's as much as you get just out of the packaging. And that is pretty much it. And yes, they do have the combined uh, weapon mode. And uh, we'll show how to do that. So we'll take Groundhog first. And what you do with Groundhog is you bring... His legs down first. We need to uh, stab his legs together, bring the legs down, and then bend his knees like that, and then just bring his arms in. Just tab his arms into place like so. You flip up this tab, I mean peg rather, and bring that down, and there you go. And he's pretty much ready to go. And as far as roller force goes, uh, what you do here is again you. Raise the tab. I mean, raise the. Why do you keep calling this a tab? It's a post. Raise the post. Peg the legs together. And peg his arms into his hips. Like that. And then you just bring that down. Or do we. Oh no, actually, we leave this. We leave this up. Sorry. My mistake. We leave this like that. And then we just take the two. And Groundhog. We'll just plug right into Roller Force's chest. Like, oop. This is, for some reason, harder to do than it should be. There we go. Just peg that in. And there you go. There you have the, uh, the weapon mode. I have no idea what's going on here. <laughs> I really don't. I have no idea. <laughs> what? It's happening here, but okay. 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 Sure. Sure. This looks like a whole lot of nothing, but sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, that's all it is. It's just, but anyway. <laughs> You can have your other figures holding it. We'll bring in Mr. Helicon here. Why not? He needs to work. <laughs> Just plug this into the hand and have him holding this weird, weird car gun thing that just looks like a whole lot of nothing. And, uh, of course, bluish compatible. Yes, bluish compatible. Um, you can't do a double bluish. Not equipped for a double bluish. But you can do one big ol' bloosh! That's a whole lot of nothing bloosh. I don't know what's going on. Hey, hey, hey. Even the bloosh gave up on this. Even the bloosh gave up anyway, but there. There you go. So there you have Roller Force and Groundhog. And yeah, I like these little dudes. You know, I like these little, little 
little pocket transformers you can take with you, play with, play with them on the go, as it were. But yeah, these are fun little guys. Um, you know, the little vehicle modes are just they're just precious. The robot modes are also just precious. They're just precious little guys. Um, the weapon mode is just I don't know what the weapon mode is. That's just a whole lot of nothing. That's the weapon mode is bad, but the rest of this is enjoyable for what they are. So. There you go. Now, if you would like this or any other Earthrise figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Earthrise playlist for any reviews you may have missed. We're also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love Peace Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there's the Transformers Earthrise Micromaster, Roller Force, and Groundhog. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Big Geek, be proud. Home in your face. Ah, more of you little guys. I have questions for you, and you will give me answers. Yes, yeah, sure. Can you sneak around undetected? Yes, yeah, sure. Can you execute the kind of stealth that none have ever seen? Yes, yeah, sure. Can you dispose of your enemies before they even know what hit them? Yes, yeah, sure. And can you make a good burrito? Um, well, uh, not exactly. You are useless to me!